Good morning, kids! Good morning, parents! Welcome to Victory Kids Church Online for Preschool! My name is Teacher Kat, one of the Kids Church volunteers here in Victory and Dipolo. Excited kami na makasama kayo today! You can ask mommy or daddy to share this video so your friends can join us today too! You can comment sa comment section natin so you can say hi to the other kids who are also joining us today. Now, let's be excited to do our praise dance. Let's put our hands together, close our eyes, bow our heads, and pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. It's, it is our privilege and joy to praise you. We are excited to learn more about you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now. Inspire us by your Spirit as we listen. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. Come on kids! Tayo tayo! Let's sing and dance for God together. He is a great on the throne He will reign forevermore And His kingdom will never end Come all let's worship the Lord Every tribe confessing His King as we worship the name of Jesus team and thank you teacher cat it's good to sing and dance for god right kids and before we start our lesson let's play a very quick game right now i'm holding a staff at kapag nakita niyo itinaas ko ito you need to shout woohoo okay ba yan kapag nakita niyo Itinaas ko ito, sisigaw kayo ng Woohoo! Madali lang, di ba? Are you ready, kids? Let's start! Woohoo! 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 Wow! Very good, kids! You shouted Woohoo! Kapag nakikita niyong tinataas ko to. Our lesson for today is something like that. And for this month of October, we are going on treasure hunt. Wow! Wow! 
Kung saan titingnan natin yung mga objects sa Bible na may magical powers, meron nga ba? Hmm, malalaman natin yan today sa ating lesson. And the title of our series for this month is Nothings. Ulitin ko, Nothings. Yon. And before we start our lesson for today, let's all watch this video. That's it for today, kids. Yeah. See you again tomorrow. Rosie, can you please stay after class? Bye, everyone. Is the door locked? Good. I have here your new mission. Nobody in school knows of your secret identity as agents of the Artifact Agency. Besides, nobody suspects kids. That's why you're perfect. Your new mission is to retrieve the ancient replica of Moses' bronze snake. The original was destroyed by King Hezekiah, but some Israelites made another one right after. It suddenly disappeared from the museum, and rumor has it that the thief who stole it is hiding it under a statue in the park before he sells it. The driver will take you there now. It's just a statue. I don't see the broad snake anywhere. Found it! Wow! How did you find it so fast? I was looking for a hidden button, but I agree, it was kind of fast. Something doesn't seem right. It doesn't matter. Let's go back. That was fast. I know, right? Kind of strange. Anyway, teacher, what is this bronze snake that you wanted us to retrieve? What's the history of it? Now, let me tell you the story. We hate this awful food. Why did you bring us here just to suffer? I delivered you from slavery in Egypt and fed you manna from heaven. You Israelites are ungrateful. I'm sending poisonous snakes to teach you a lesson. Many of the Israelites died after being bitten by snakes. Those who were still alive were sorry for their attitude and went to Moses and asked him to pray for them. Moses, make a bronze snake and put it on a pole. Anyone who is bitten by a snake can look at it and will be healed. Whoa! You mean to say this bronze snake has powers? Not exactly. God used the bronze snake to give a vision of what Jesus would do in the future. The Israelites were bitten by snakes and would die. But when they looked at the bronze snake, they would live. All of us are also bitten by sin and are headed for eternal death. But when we look at what Jesus did for us on the cross, putting our faith in him, we have eternal life. So the snake doesn't have powers. It just reminds us to look to Jesus. Yes. Wait, what? What's the matter? S -s Someone stole one of our precious artifacts. Nagustuhan nyo ba yung story natin kanina, kids? Alam nyo ba, nung ni-rescue yung mga Israelites mula sa pagiging slave sa Egypt, nagsimula silang mag-wander sa wilderness or desert for many, many years. Paikot-ikot sila bago sila makarating dun sa lugar na pinrami sa kanila ni God. Dahil sa hindi sila sumusunod sa utos ni God at sa pagiging stubborn nila or matigas ang ulo. 
Sino nga ulit kids yung matigas ang ulo? Tama! Ang mga Israelites. Sa story natin, ang mga Israelites malayo yung inikutan nila para maiwasan nila yung bansang Edom for their protection. Kaso, nainip sila along the way. Kaya naman, they grumble and nagreklamo sila kay God and kay Moses. And ang sabi nila, bakit yung pa kami nilabas sa Egypt? Mamamatay kami dito sa desert. Wala kaming pagkain. Wala kaming tubig. Ayaw din namin ng mga binibigay ng pagkain. Hindi naging grateful ang mga Israelites. At dinisrespect nila si God na nag sa kanila sa pagiging alipin sa Egypt. Kaya naman, nagpadala si God ng mga poisonous snakes. Poisonous snakes beat the people and maraming mga namatay na Israelites at dahil dun, lumapit sila kay Moses at ang sabi nila, We sin when we grumble at you and the Lord. Pray that the Lord will take away these snakes. Moses prayed for the people. Then the Lord said to Moses, Make a bronze snake and put it on a pole. And if anyone is beaten, he should look at it. Then he will live. Moses made a bronze snake and put it on a pole. Kapag may taong nakagat ng snake, kailangan niya lang tumingin doon sa ginawang bronze snake ni Moses at mabubuhay na siya. Hmm. Sa tingin nyo kids, magical ba yung bronze snake? Hmm. Sa totoo lang, hindi. It was just a piece of metal on a stick. It was God who has the power. It was God who healed the people. The Israelites were dying because of poisonous snake bites. But they only needed to look at the bronze snake and they will be healed and live. All of us are also beaten. Beaten by sin. We are all headed to eternal death. God had the bronze snake made as a symbol for the greatest healing for sin that would come. Jesus, we only need to look to Jesus at the cross and trust Him for our salvation. And we are healed. Our sins are forgiven. We are reconciled to God and we will live forever with Jesus in heaven. Kids, meron ba sa inyo may sakit? O ikaw mismo? Do you need forgiveness for all the things that you have done? Today, Jesus wants to forgive you. He wants to give you the gift of eternal life. You can pray this prayer with me. Lord, thank you for your love. Lord, we ask for forgiveness for all the wrong things that we have done. Lord, guide us. Help us to obey your words. Lord, we surrender everything as our Lord, as our Savior. Thank you, Lord. We lift up all the things to you. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen! If you pray that prayer, Jesus has already healed you and forgive you. Ngayon naman, ready na ba kayo sa ating crafts time? Tawagin na natin si Teacher MJ. See you next week! Bye-bye! Thank you for that, Teacher John. Hi kids! This is Teacher MJ and welcome sa ating craft time! Dami ba kayo natutunan sa lesson natin ngayon? Okay! So now, we will be making a bronze snake. Yung bronze snake na tinitignan ng mga Israelites 
nung nakagat sila ng venomous snake para slight bumaling. So, here's the materials that we need. We need three sheets of tissue paper na magkakaduktong. Tatlong piraso nun. Then, chopsticks, watercolor, paintbrush, and tape. First, kunin ang tissue paper. Lagyan ng tape yung unahan. Then, loosely twist the tissue paper. Tapos, lagyan mo din ng tape sa dulo. Gawin mo ito sa tatlong pirasong tissue paper. After mo matapan and matwist yung tissue paper, yung tatlong unahan ng tissue paper ay pagsamasamahin mo. Then, ask your parents or guardians to help them braid it for you. Lagyan din ng tape yung dulo after mo ito mabraid. Then, kunin mo ang chopstick or stick and ilagay mo yung snake doon. Lagyan mo ng tape sa unahan. Then, wrap it around the stick. Lagyan mo din ng tape doon sa dulo. Now, using an extra tissue paper, we will make the snake's head. We need is a triangle shape para sa head ng snake. Lagyan nyo ng tape sa ilalim para idugtong sa katawan. So now, we will start painting. Please be careful kasi madaling mapunit ang tissue. Isang bronze snake ang nasa story natin. Pero dito sa crafts, I will make a colorful snake. Ikaw ang bahala kung gusto mong kulayan ito ng bronze or ng iba't ibang kulay. I have painted two dots para sa eyes ng aking snake. Nag-twist din ako ng isang maliit na tissue paper para sa tang ng snake. Make sure na na-tape ng maayos ang bawat end ng snake and even yung head and tongue. So, here's our finished crafts. Can I see yours? Wow! Good job, kids! Patingin nga nung ginawa niyong snake. Here, I made a colorful snake. Pero dun sa story natin, ang ginawa ni Moses ay isang bronze snake. Parang yung ginawang bronze snake ni Moses. Pareho lang ito ng ginawa ng isang tao. Magkaiba man ng materials or magkaiba man ng color, ito ay isang creation natin. 
These are created objects that do not have powers themselves. Only God has the power to heal and save. So, alam na natin ang mga objects na to does not have the ability to heal and save. Only God can. So, let us call on Teacher Kat for our Power Truth and Power Verse. See you next week! Great job, kids! Now, shall we pray? Lord, thank you for your word today that reveals your character and love. Help me to focus my eyes on you each day so I can walk in your love and peace. In Jesus' name, Amen. That's it for our Kids Church Online today. See you again next week, kids. Bye!